Okay, here's giant salvinia. It's a floating fern. So mm -hmm. here's its root right here. And this is kind of headed. It's had a hard winter. But you see the little furs, the little hairs on it? Kind of feels, kind of looks like a cat's tongue, does it not? Kind of feels like a cat's tongue too, right? Or maybe Velcro. And pretty cool, huh? Well, that allows it to keep waterproof. It also, unfortunately for us, allows, keeps it from taking in um, herbicides. That's why we have to put a little thing called a surfactant in with our herbicides because it helps for the plant to absorb. It helps make the plant absorb that herbicide, which makes it that much more expensive to treat this plant. And it doesn't look like much, right? It's a giant salvinia. Well, it's not very big, is it? Because it's not named for its size. It's actually named because it's a big problem. Oh, Huge okay. problem. <laughs> okay. Now, this is, again, a floating fern. And if you, what's the difference between a fern and a flower? I'm hitting a lot of biology. I'm so sorry. No, do it. <laughs> do it. That's fine. Yeah. Oh, a fern. It's a, a flower is on land and a fern is in the water. Kind of. Well, but we'll get lots of flowers in the water. Flower has petals. A flower has a stamina. Flower has um, a reproductive cycle. Right. Yeah, ovaries and flowers. Stuff. Flowers have flowers. Right. Ferns don't make a flower. They just have leaves. They have a different kind of reproductive organism. Right. They have Organ a cuticle. Right. They have what's called alternate generations. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot more archaic. It's older mm -hmm. and it's a little more complicated. Mm -hmm. But flowers are real easy. They've got male and female parts, or some flowers are just male and some flowers are just female. So it's it's more like what we're what we're familiar with. Mm -hmm. But ferns are a little different. And um, that fortunately for us, this plant does not make a viable reproductive. See this little piece right here? Mm -hmm. These little things that come off. Mm -hmm. Those are where the spores would be produced. Spore okay. is the gamete. Spore is the reproductive gamete for a fern. Yeah. But in this case, this plant is what we call a pentaploid, which means it has five sets of chromosomes. Do you know what that means? I haven't heard it in a long time. Chromosomes is X, X, or X, Y. X, X, or X, Y. But it has five sets. That's called what beetle bean. What that happens, if you have five sets of chromosomes, you cannot make a viable gamete because you can't split five evenly. Mm -hmm. So you can't make a viable gamete. So that means that spore is not viable. Thank God for us, because we would never catch up with it then. Unfortunately, this plant has like, it's like it has a brain. And it says, okay, well, I don't have to worry about impressing the ladies or putting out in this energy into this reproductive system, right? So I'm gonna throw all of my energy into growing and I'm gonna be fragile. So when I break off, I can be a whole nother plant. And that's why we can't keep up with this plant when you get it. It grows so fast and it breaks off so easily and it reproduces that way and once you get one acre you cannot leave you you know you may go out there and say oh it's just an acre uh -uh. that's not you have to get every bit of it and if you look around there's no way we're going to get every bit of it so so we'll be fighting this plant forever the best way to prevent this plant is do not get it anywhere so don't ever transport it knowingly or unknowingly don't transport it unknowingly. That's kind of hard to do, but <laughs> yeah. But that, but that is that's the that's the challenge with this plant. One of the many challenges with this plant. Is that called what fragmentation? Fragmentation. So what did somebody do to Did what to us? What did they had to plant and they put it on cattle? It, it's very likely that it did happen that way. But a lot of times, you know, this plant was growing at North Toledo Bend on, on that lake, and it, sometimes it's just accidental just have no idea you're transporting it. Boat trailers. Boat trailers, duck oh. blunt, duck decoys. It doesn't lose on it. Uh, you bet. This thing is from South American and it is all over the southern United States. All That's over why the United I tried States. to get you to go down over there. But that's like Lake Bistano. What's on the video where yeah, I used to go down there all the time. traveling up through um, California. Little Bend. I don't know what that one is. The later is at the South Bend. It may be. It could be. Okay. Yeah. Tell you another thing, nice little thing about this plant is so it is not, know. it's completely fresh water. Yeah. It is not, it can't take salt water with it whatsoever. If you put this in salt water, it's dead in seven minutes. Why don't you put salt water? <laughs> we kill everything else too. <laughs> bald cypress tree is not salt water tolerant. <laughs> so it can't live in salt water, nor fish. So unfortunately, that's, that's, that hurts us. Yeah. It's a, yeah. Well, it's close. the ocean, still can't get 
That's right. The ocean and brackish water did, does not catch this. None did not catch this disease. This plant. <laughs> it will not get this plant. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, it's like an infection. It's like a cancer. Is what it is. It's like a cancer, and it's it's a bad bad plant. There's another one called uh, Salvinia minor or common Salvinia, and the way you tell the two. Hmm? I see, I see growing for some reason. It might help in some kind of way. There may be some way it can. That's an excellent. Plants always help us, and if you can find the answer, if you found something where this plant would help us one way or another, you would be Nobel Peace Prize winner like you wouldn't believe. You will get to work. You get to work. You better get to work. Because let me tell you, this plant has a lot of chemical properties, such as it has a metabolic inhibitor. Do you know what that means? That it's preventing something. It some, some type of metabolism. That's right. It means it messes up your metabolism. Mm -hmm. So animals that eat it, which they don't, it could kill them because it screws up their metabolism. Mm -hmm. And um, so there's one chemical property about this plant that is quite interesting. You know, there could be other features about these plants, chemical properties about these plants that could be helpful in some cases. So the only thing we have to treat this plant right now is biologically is a salvinia weevil and it's a little tiny tiny t well y'all oh, saw the beetles, the, be mm -hmm. the beetles yeah mm -hmm. a little tiny tiny thing and unfortunately with them they're not very cold hardy okay. so when y'all go back to school y'all are going to knit some little sweaters for our salvinia weevils so that they can have something to warm right uh. but no that they're not very cold hardy and we can't get them established very they have we have to put a whole bunch out there to really get them established because it's the reproductive cycle that helps us kill this plant it's not that they eat it it's the way they lay their eggs and the larvae is what kills this plant so the, the bug has to have the conditions to reproduce to be successful and we have to have a lot of bugs out there to get us but that is salvinia what else what? Well, we saw a video where they had a conference and the Salvinia plant man right. walking to the conference room. Oh, the Salvinia monster. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Do they have one?